Hi, today we are reviewing the Sony X900E series television. It ranges in sizes from 49 all the way up to 75 inches, and it sits just below Sony's top of the line X930E series. While it doesn't have some of the fancier exterior design elements that you will see in Sony's flagship under the hood, it is a very capable television. In fact, I think that for most folks, this series brings the best cost to performance ratio out there. So let's see what makes it so special. While the X900E series isn't as flashy as Sony's top tier TV, it is still a sleek looking set. In fact, since this TV uses a full array of backlights behind the screen instead of edge lights, the bezel is actually trimmer on this set than the more expensive model. It also sports the same stand, which is not only attractive, but also has a small footprint, making it ideal for those with smaller entertainment centers. The back of the TV features all the connections you'll need, including four HDMI inputs, one with ARC for making a soundbar connection simpler. Cable management works so that you route your wires out through these feet, so you don't see them bundled up on your entertainment stand. The X900E runs on the Android TV platform, which gives it a few distinct advantages. First, you have access to OK Google, which will help you find content you want to watch and can answer pretty much any question you'd ask Google. This TV is also Google Cast enabled, so just like a Chromecast, you can pull up content on a mobile device or PC, then just cast it off to the TV, which is super convenient, especially with YouTube and Netflix content. The X900E can also be controlled with Alexa, Amazon's digital assistant, making it part of an integrated smart home system. Picture quality on the X900E is outstanding, and although it can't get quite as bright as Sony's top of the line, it's still quite bright, and in some cases has a more uniform picture than the X930 series above it. Thanks to its full array local dimming backlights, we get a more even balance of brightness across the screen and just a touch of halo around bright objects on dark backgrounds. This TV is going to be equally at home in a bright room or dark room setting, and HDR content is going to look stellar, always. There's a good bit of depth to this picture thanks to very good contrast, but perhaps this TV's best attribute is its color capabilities, which are very smooth with a wide color gamut and enhanced color volume. Motion is also solid with this TV. You get very little blur and very little judder, even without any processing added in. But Sony's motion flow system allows some smoothing without that dreaded soap opera effect. Speaking of settings, I prefer the Cinema Home Picture Preset for nearly all uses. This setting results in solid brightness and great color with the best contrast. Cinema Pro is a little darker, which makes it ideal for dark, dedicated home theaters. And for those who do a lot of daytime TV watching with lots of sun pouring in the room, I would choose the standard picture setting. And if the motion looks a little too smooth on the standard picture setting, you can reduce the smoothing in the motion flow menu right here. My only real complaint with this TV is that to get these really deep black levels, Sony went with the type of LCD panel that does great blacks, but also has a shallow viewing angle. Move too far off the center, and you'll see a lot of that contrast I'm raving about wash out, while colors will also fade a bit. This is just how it goes with high-performance LCD-based TVs. Ultimately, the Sony X900E is an outstanding television. I think it's the ideal choice for somebody who's looking for that excellent picture quality, but doesn't want to pay for super premium facets that don't really affect the viewing experience. If you consider yourself a savvy videophile, then this very well may be the TV for you.